what's going on in the true world i'm back with another video i hope you guys like my new tagline that will be the tagline from here on now for the beginning of the videos so when i say what's going on in the true world i want you to comment down below what's going on in your world and i know you guys see my makeup i did a little practice on my makeup y'all know i've been practicing on makeup so i decided to do a little makeup in the, my video for today i hope you guys like it because baby Giving getting that little miniature Mardi Gras feel, it just you know, you got a little yellow and all that. So, I like it, I hope you guys like it too. Today's video is going to be Get to Know Me, the Get to Know Me tag. So, basically, I'm going to be answering a few questions and I'm going to answer them about myself. So, the first one is my name, of course. Well, some of you may know and some of you might not know, but my name is Ashley. So, I am 24 years old, um, I have three beautiful kids and I will insert their picture below. Um, my favorite color is purple. Um, my favorite YouTubers to watch. Um, I have a lot of YouTubers that I watch, but my favorite YouTubers are... I love watching De'Ara and Ken because they seem so down to earth and real to me. Of course, everybody that knows me know I love watching Queen um, YouTube channel. because I've been watching her way before she even got famous. Um, I, who else I watch? It is YouTuber that I just recently started watching. Her channel name is One Queen and Seven Kings. I think that's what it's called. I love watching her videos. So shout out to you, girl. Um, who else I like watching? Um, I just found this dude on Instagram. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot think of his name. His name, I think his name is Philip. Um, he does his video on, in front of a blue screen where he invites, uh, like singers and things like that to come and do videos with him where he give them one word and they have to think of a song that has the word in it and they have to start singing it so yeah it's a couple more but you know i'm not gonna put everybody out there because it they basically get free advertisement but anywho the next one is um how did i come about getting my page name so if you don't know um my daughter my only daughter name is destiny and so basically the name true destiny came about is because i am working on some little business ventures that that is going to be including the name and eventually once she gets old enough then i'm going to hand the business down to her so basically I'm doing something in all of my that incorporates all of my kids, so that once they get older, you um they can by the time they get grown they'll have money in their name, with uh for them they won't you know how most people, um, it's sort of like a trust fund but at the same time it's not because, yeah they'll have money in their name they'll have their own businesses, but they still have to work for it so it's sort of like a trust fund but it's sort of not like a trust fund but yeah the name true destiny came about because of my daughter um this is like one of the business ventures that i'm going to be doing for her and later on down the line which is not going to be not going to be far off i'm going to be doing something for the boy, my boys name um uh, that incorporates my boys so that is how the name true destiny came about I hope you guys like the name so comment down below and let me know whether or not you enjoy the name because I know it used to be the King's Heart but I wasn't really too much feeling that name and basically it used to be a family channel but things happen where my husband works too much and he doesn't want to do videos anymore so I still want to do videos so I decided to change the name to incorporate it to where it just be my channel okay what city am I from? I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Hold on. Like I was saying, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, uh, what are some of my bad habits? Some of my bad habits, I have a real bad habit of cleaning my ears probably like twice a day. I have this 
this thing where I don't want my ears to be nasty. So I'm always sticking a bobby pin or sticking a Q-tip -tip in my ear. I also have a bad habit of always having my phone in my hand. Um, so you can be talking to me sometimes and I won't even hear you because I'll be too busy in my phone. Which is something that I have to work on. Which I'm going to work on because I don't want to. I don't want to keep that bad habit. So, next question: Going when going out with friends, describe your night. So, when going out with my friends, it will be liquor. It will be dancing, of course, food because everybody loves to eat a little food. Mm -hmm. Um. Definitely dancing. I think the last time I went out, it was like a little couple's thing. Actually, it was for my sister husband's birthday. And it was all couples. It was about about seven couples. Maybe seven couples. It was about seven couples. And y'all, I got... I wasn't drunk, but I was tipsy. So, we had went to Coyote Ugly. Lord, me and my sister and my sister best friend, Lord... My husband has a video of me. I, I'm going to have to find it and I'm going to incorporate it in the, at the bottom of the video of me, my sister, and my sister best friend dancing on the bar. And they had us drinking shots off the bar and everything. Yeah, when I say I had a good time, I had a good time. I don't normally go out like that because I'm not the type of person that likes to go out to clubs and like that like to I don't like to deal with that type of scenery because, you know, too many things happen nowadays and I be scared to go out. So but that time I did have fun. So when you have time, get you some drinks. Go to Coyote Ugly, dance on that bar, get you some shots off the bar, up some of the shot girls, and have you some fun, baby. Okay, the the last and final question is going to be places that I've been. I've been to Atlanta, I've been to Chicago, I've been to St. Louis, I've been to Hot Springs, I've been to Pigeon Ford, I've been to Dallas, and... I've been to Alabama. I think that it's it, but it in May we're going to um Virginia, we're going to Murder Beach um for a week long family vacation. So and I'm also my husband is planning on doing us a honeymoon to Hawaii. I cannot wait. Yeah, we've been married a year going on going on March seventh. And we haven't had our anniversary, I mean, our honeymoon because we pretty much had, we got married in the, in the park. It was so pretty. The park was so pretty. We got, it was like a little bridge over a Japanese garden and pond and we got married on the bridge. It was so pretty, but we did not go on a honeymoon. We did not have a reception or none of that. We just basically got married and went on about our day. So this year we're going on a honeymoon. Can I wait? Seven days away from my kids. Just me and him. We're gonna have us some fun anywho if you like this video if you want to know some more things about me just comment down below and let me know what else you would like to know about me and i will do another video also let me know how you like the new tagline don't forget when i say what's going on in the true world you gotta comment down below and tell me what's going on in your world because i want to know i really want to know i love you guys and i will see you guys tomorrow bye